What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, we're gonna check out 10 WWE wrestlers who tapped out once. This is gonna be a very interesting one because it just depends on which wrestlers they choose. But I do like the thumbnail. I, I like the thumbnail. It brought it brought me back. It brought me back to the Roman Reigns versus Daniel Bryan. Uh, Daniel Bryan's last run in WWE and that epic match they had where Roman Reigns actually tapped. He actually tapped out or whatnot, but it didn't count. And that was a that was a very good like moment because he legitimately tapped him. But he didn't, you know what I'm saying? He didn't actually, it didn't count towards the win. So honestly, I am uh it, it just that that whole their little mini feud they had before he left was so fucking good. It, it, they were able to make Daniel Bryan look good also in you know making roman tap out which i don't think anyone had done at that point making roman tap out but at the same time keeping roman street going as well they they that was that was i enjoyed that very very much or whatnot so we're gonna check out some other moments where wrestlers actually tapped out um and they're probably gonna be the doing the ones that um that rarely tap out in it like just in general so should be a good one by tap out corner it's funny that <laughs> tap out corner being the person talking about wrestlers who tapped out once the irony there <laughs> let's get right into it no more taking up your time man styles has been in WWE. i can't even hear it you know why i can't hear it my headphones weren't even on like what what am i doing for over seven years and has made a number of wrestlers tap out thanks to his calf crusher. However, the phenomenal one has only tapped out once. At No Mercy 2016, AJ Styles was defending the WWE Championship against John Cena and Dean Ambrose. After a long and physical fight, Ambrose and Cena lock in submission moves. Wow. The pain was too much and AJ was forced to tap out. I forgot out. about that. However, the referee called it off since he couldn't declare both Dean and John the winner. The match continued <laughs> and thanks to some help from a steel chair, AJ mm -hmm. Styles retained his WWE Championship. Since then, the closest the phenomenal one has come to tapping out was during his WrestleMania Backlash match against Edge in 2022. However, Styles passed out before he could mm -hmm. tap out. Here's a complicated question. Has anyone forced The Undertaker to tap out? The answer is yes and no. Technically, the dead man has only officially tapped out one time. At Breaking Point 2009, The Undertaker fought CM Punk in a submission match. Punk locked Taker in the Anaconda Vice, and the referee called for the bell, even though Undertaker never really tapped out. The first time someone really made the Phenom submit was in 2002. During a match against Kurt Angle, the Olympic gold medalist had the demon in a triangle choke while Angle's shoulders were on the mat. The referee counted the pin, but right as he went down for mm -hmm. three, the Undertaker tapped out. However, the referee ruled the match a draw, meaning the tap out didn't technically count. <laughs> 13 years later, another controversy happened. At SummerSlam 2015, the Undertaker had a rematch against the man who defeated him at WrestleMania. This was a good Brock match. Lesnar. This was fun. During the fight, Brock locked Undertaker in a Kimura lock. Which yeah. caused the phenom to submit. Yeah. However, due to the referee not seeing it, yeah. the submission didn't count, and Undertaker went on to win. Yeah, he he didn't see the tap. It, it kind of like the, oh man, that that was a creative way of doing it too. He didn't see the tap. He didn't see it. So, of course, Brock thought it was over, and then uh, it wasn't. The ref didn't see it. <laughs> match. It was rare to see Hulk Hogan lose a match, and even more rare for it to happen by submission. Mm -hmm. Because of that, there's only one man in WWE history who has been able to make the Immortal One tap out. In 2002, the Hulkster began feuding with Kurt Angle, leading to a match at Came of the Ring. The two Patriots went back and forth, but the Olympic gold medalist eventually locked in the Angle Lock. Hogan tried to grab for the ropes, but couldn't escape forcing him to tap out for the first and only time wow. in WWE. Roman Reigns is one of the most dominating WWE wrestlers of all time. Like with Hulk Hogan, it's uncommon to see the head of the table lose a match, and even more unusual to see him submit. Yep. Edge managed to get the Tribal Chief to tap out once, yeah. but that was after the match was over. There's only been one time that Roman Reigns has tapped out during the match. At the 2021 yep, Fastlane just was talking about it. Reigns defend the Universal Championship against Daniel Bryan, with Edge as a special guest enforcer. The American Dragon eventually applied the yes lock on a very weak Roman. Mm -hmm. Reigns couldn't fight back and gave the signal he was tapping out. But before anything could happen, Edge broke it up yep. with a steel chair, allowing the Tribal Chief to ultimately win the match. Rusev was that was like I said, that was just a crazy moment. He tapped out. He legitimately was done. He was over, tapped out, or whatnot. 
and but it didn't matter because there was no referee to 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 actually uh <laughs> call the match which was an interesting way on how they did that feud so machine during his WB career, the Bulgarian brute made many WB stars tap, but Rusev himself never did, except for one time. At the 2015 tribute to the troops, Rusev faced off against one of his former rivals, Jack Swagger. Rusev had defeated Swagger on multiple occasions, so it seemed like <laughs> another win for the Bulgarian brute. During the match, Rusev went to attack Jack Swagger, but the real American dodge and Rusev's shoulder collided with a metal case. Swagger was able to secure the Patriot lock on his wounded opponent, and with no other options, Rusev was forced to tap out. Hardcore WWE fans will know that mm -hmm. Rusev did submit to Cena. However, that did not happen during yeah. the match. Yeah, it wasn't during the match. While he was still in NXT, Bray Wyatt had a massive opportunity, a main event match against Chris Jericho. Wyatt made sure to bring along Eric Rowan and Luke Harper to aid him during the fight. While the outside interference was a challenge for Y2J, Jericho managed to outsmart the Wyatts. Bray eventually fell victim to the walls of Jericho. That's really crazy seeing Jericho and Bray Wyatt in NXT. That's fucking insane how times have changed <laughs> and was forced to tap this was the first time bray wyatt had ever tapped out of a match and for the rest of his wwe career he made sure it never happened again finn yeah. balor is one tough son of a gun the man has been in unbreakable submission holds and still refused to tap out the likes of roman reigns samoa mm -hmm. joe and carrying cross were unable to make balor submit. <laughs> so far only bro one finn balor stayed going to the upper room bro <laughs> he's like i'm not tapping out you're gonna have to take me. Take me to the gulags. <laughs> he just embraces it, just closes his eyes, and here we go. <laughs> WWE wrestler can actually say that they made the Demon King tap out. In 2019, Finn Balor competed in one of the biggest matches of his career against Brock Lesnar. Finn put up a good fight, mm -hmm. but there's a reason Lesnar is called the Beast. Brock executed the Kimura lock and made Balor tap out for the first time in his career. Ever since he made his WWE debut in 2019, Gunther has been nothing but dominant. Of it's course. rare for the man to lose a match, so you'd think he's never tapped out, but that isn't the case. In 2021, during his over two-year-long reign uh, as NXT UK bruh. champion, Gunther defended his title. This in match was so fucking great. And I'm loving what they're doing with uh, Dragunov. I believe I did see the segment with him. Uh, was going at it with uh Braun Breaker. I guess that's going to be their next feud. And he's, bro, they had a beautiful brawl. I am loving what they're doing with Dragunov. My only fear is him getting to the main roster and them not knowing what to do with him. Oh, hopefully, uh, Triple H can prevent that from happening. Happening, cause I, bro, I, I like I like Dragunov, man. The dude, he's just intense. It's just intensity with him. Like he comes off believable. He, he he's there to give you the beats, bro. He's not afraid of any smoke, and I love that. It doesn't matter how big the guy is, his moves look effective and brutal, and I love it. And this match definitely turned me into a fan. Him and Walter, they tore the house down. It's Ilya Dragunov. The two had one of those physical and hard-hitting matches ever seen in WWE. Dragunov attempted multiple times to put Gunther in a sleeper hole, but could lock it in. Finally, on his third attempt, Dragunov got Gunther in the submission hold and wouldn't let go. With escape impossible, yep. Gunther shockingly tapped yeah. out. Since that defeat, the ring general hasn't made a mistake like that ever again. Shinsuke Nakamura- I hope they bring that up. I hope they bring that up. Like- I hope they revisit that feud whenever he comes to the main roster. Please, please revisit that feud. Hell, I would love for him, and I know we're doing some fantasy booking stuff, but, you know, let me know how you feel. I would love for him if somehow they're able to have Walter hold the title, they call up uh, Dragunov. And if you want to potentially make a new star and build him up correctly, and, for and you know, in front of the, 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 the main roster fans, have him be the guy to take down Walter because that, that history is there. The history is there. You can build that up. He's the guy that took the NXT UK championship from him. He's the guy that did it. So why not have him be the one to take the Intercontinental Championship from them if they were to do some long-term booking like that? But a lot of factors would have to play in. But just a fantasy booking thought.
Mora is called the King of Strawn style, and there's a good reason for that. Beyond his wrestling ability, the man has only tapped out of a match one time in WWE. On the first SmackDown of 2021, Shinsuke teamed with Cesaro to take on Otis and Daniel Bryan. Nakamura was going for the armbar on Bryan, but an attack by Otis prevented that. Daniel then flipped things around and put Shinsuke in the yes lock. Nakamura had to do what he had never done before, wow. and that was tap yep. out. In his nearly 15 year career, Sheamus has lost his fair share of matches, but mm -hmm. almost never tapped out. Sure, he lost by technical submission to both Rusev and Daniel Bryan, mm -hmm. but in both incidents, the Celtic Warrior passed out rather than tapped out. Sheamus did slap the mat during his Money in the Bank match against John Cena. However, like with the other <laughs> Look at the, ref. the referee did not he was see taking it. A nap. Despite that, Sheamus has <laughs> officially tapped out one time in WWE. In March 2021, the Great White took on the WWE champion, Bobby Lashley. Unfortunately for Sheamus, Bobby had backup as the Hurt Business was staying ringside to help their team. Man, a distraction I missed the Hurt Business, bro. Allowed the Almighty to take control. I missed the Hurt Business, the hurt bro. Business. The only way out was to tap out, which is exactly what Sheamus did. Finishers are another way to win matches, but business. they don't do much good when your opponent refuses to sell them. <laughs> you see that? Watch this video. Oh, man, bro. And it, it's, it's dope that a lot of these wrestlers have been protected. You know, when you see someone tap out, it definitely can, depending on if they're, if they're always tapping out to people, that could definitely hurt their credibility as someone that can get the job done so knowing that a lot of these wrestlers are on this list really technically officially tapped out like once in their illustrious career says something about how wwe has tried to protect a lot of these wrestlers and a lot of these wrestlers were you know people that they were putting in the main event scene upper to main event scene so they definitely didn't have them tapping out much man so comment down below let me know what's like the i guess the most infamous tap out moment you can you guys can remember you know ever in wwe history for me it's gonna be wrestlemania 30 y'all know it's one of my favorite wrestlemanias daniel bryan tapping out batista michael cole going crazy on commentary as he had the yes lock in and uh batista in the middle of the ring and crowd going crazy michael cole tap out batista tap out batista and batista tapped out for Daniel Bryan to win, that was probably one of the greatest tap out moments for me personally in WWE history. Comment down below, let me know your, your favorite tap out moment in WWE history. But I appreciate all love, support, Road 250K, and I'm still young to be the YouTube wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See y'all next one. Peace.